kind of cleared it. It was like a very much a self-help book for me. I would want, I wish there was a book out there when I was going through my thing so I could identify it as, oh my God, that is gaslighting or that is being emotionally and physically abused. Like if I could have had that, my book, it would have saved me a little bit. You know, because I am Scary Spice, I'm a Spice Girl, I'm very outspoken, I'm very confident and brash and very in control of things, yet yeah, I was in prison, basically, within my marriage. In a nice way, I was actually quite shocked that Phoenix, my daughter, wanted to write her own chapter and record her own chapter. And the same with my mum, I was like, really? And it's their words. That's why this book is important, so it can be explained. It's a real kind of horrible game of chess and they end up controlling your everything from what you wear, where you go, who you talk to, what phone you have, or maybe you're not even allowed a phone, like in my case. I don't leave anything untouched. I talk a lot about Spice Girls, how that started, from me doing my own shoes on the Olympics because I got the wrong shoes to my outfit arriving. I go into very intricate details. Well, I have really bad dyslexia, so I can't read that well. I didn't want it to be misrepresented by myself, so I had to audition um, a few ladies, a few Northern ladies. But I think it's important to be able to share a story and know that actually I'm one of the survivors because not everybody makes it out.